Hi. Um, this is Hi. Naomi, the holistic travel nurse. Um, I have my friend, a new friend, Beverly on, and she's going to share her story with us today. Um, Beverly um, has been successful with the scale. She's been up and down in her health. She invested in her health, invested in knowing with understanding her body. She's read some of the same books I have and has an impactful story that I think that this is going to support many others. So Beverly, thank you for being on the podcast and the channel today. Oh, thank you very much for having me. It's really nice to be able to offer some insight for, into my own journey that may be of help to other people. They might see some of themselves in me. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And um, they can explore ideas to conquering the scale. This is what this whole right. series is on. So um, you are from Canada. I'm in the U.S. And you said, it's, I don't want to make you jealous. As we're recording this, it's negative like 28 degrees or something ridiculous. Where I am, um, yeah. And I have my AC on and I live in an RV and I'm, today it's warm in South Carolina. So don't, don't get jealous. Oh, I'm jealous already. <laughs> but I did have a little hoodie on. <laughs> I only have another two months of this to go through before it starts to look like we might get anything like spring. <laughs> yeah. And then you're an artist, um, so am. that is so exciting. You'll have to send me pictures of some of your art that's uh, definitely. even in galleries. I have a, a stepmom I want, might have you connect with who does um, art shows and has things in galleries. So Oh, that's great. And sure. I have a daughter who's an artist, so I love my artists because I, I really don't, but I, I, I feel like I like crafts, but I'm not an artist, and I really love the way that artistic look at the world and then put it on canvas or oh, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you have two children. You have five parent children. Absolutely, and, yeah. And you've had this um, huge change. And it's, it's, it's recent though, too. It's only been how many, how long? Is 18 it? months, 18 yeah. months. That, yeah, from uh, August 4th, 19, uh, not 19. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really old. <laughs> August <laughs> August 4th last 2019. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about you went and saw you had to switch doctors. You were telling me before this all recorded and you had to go see a new doctor and they did all this blood work and said you were pre-diabetic and you told me they sent you to a dietitian. Tell me about what right. happened with this dietitian and mm -hmm being finding that you have fatty liver and you're pre-diabetic and you need yeah. to lose weight and you're trying to do these things right. for your health. Right. Um, and so you see this dietitian and what happens? Well, what happens is I go in and I get the usual spiel about, uh, I'm sure it's a usual spiel because it's all on computer and she brings up the pages and you read along with her and then she goes and prints it all off and says, okay, here's your dietary schedule for the next four weeks. And until you go back and see your doctor. And uh, so part of that regimen is eating three meals a day, plus at least two snacks. <laughs> and that includes uh, grains at every meal and uh, no fat or low fat. Uh -huh. um, very little dairy if possible in any way, shape or form. Uh, okay. Use margarine, not butter. <laughs> um, here's canola oil, sunflower or safflower oils. It's no mention of any other kind. Um, yeah, basically the thing was to eat these uh, three meals a day plus, plus have two snacks, preferably uh, at the minimum. And uh, if you had an extra snack, that's fine. There was um, not really a much discussion about, um, I would say, insulin levels, how your body's own insulin production functions. There was nothing to do with any of those processes our body naturally does. Um, so really, and I think I was in a state of kind of shock anyways, because I certainly didn't expect to have gone with a diagnosis of already being pre-diabetic. Um, the numbers up here for blood sugars are a little different in the US and mine okay. was 6.4. I don't know what Ooh. that co goes to for the U.S. numbers. Oh, and I just have to correct something. I started this in August 2018, not 2019. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's kind of where it was as the experience with the di dietitian. There was really 
I don't remember being given any information on any what carbohydrate types were, like simple or complex. I don't oh remember goodness. anything like that. I, it was really just basically go home, eat, make sure you include bread, cereal, uh, which, you know, is grains and... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, certainly meat and, and vegetables and whatever, because I'm not a vegetarian. And uh, include uh, fruit. You can have fruit a couple times a day. So um, I cut back the sugary drinks, that type of thing. Uh, cut down on junk food. But the thing was, I wasn't a junk food uh, eater to begin with. I wasn't a candy eater to begin with. So, and I wasn't.